Welcome to iLecture Online and now let's talk about odds in favor of and odds against. So let's go back to our last video where we played the roulette game and we placed hundred dollars on either red or black. So again let's put a bet on black and of course there's 18 black slots, 18 red slots, one single zero and one double zero. Anytime it ends up on a single or double zero the bank gets all the money nobody wins a dime. Turns out in Europe there's only one of those green slots and so there's a total of 37 instead of 38 slots so the bank doesn't win as much on that roulette game as we do here in the United States. Alright, so we're going to place a bet and what is the odds in favor of winning and what is the odds in favor of or, or odds against winning I should say. Alright, so it's the probability that the event that you want will occur divided by 1 minus the probability that the event will not occur. So we want a winning event. What is the the probability that we'll win. Well, if we place a, a bet on black, there's 18 black and there's a total of 38 possibilities. So the probability of the event occurring, and what I'm going to do here is there's another way of writing this. We could say this is the probability of the event divided by the probability of the complementary, the complement of that event, so that the event will not occur. Another way of writing that is the probability of the event divided by the probability of not the event. So there's different ways of writing it, whatever makes most sense to you, but that maybe helps us understand it. So what is the probability of the event occurring? A winning event, that would be 18 divided by 38 possibilities. And of course the remainder, that would be 20 out of 38 of the event not occurring. So 20 divided by 38, which is equal to 18 divided by 20, which is equal to 9 divided by 10, which is 0.9. So that means the odds in favor of winning is 0 0.9. Okay, we'll wait a moment to try and interpret that. Let's now do the odds against, and after we've done that, you'll see what we really can interpret with that particular result. Odds against, that's 1 minus the probability of, uh, of the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event occurring, or it's the probability of the complement of the event, so not occurring, divided by the probability of the event occurring, which is the probability of not E divided by the probability of E. So in other words, the probability that the event will not occur divided by the probability that the event will occur. And again, we want a winning event. So what is the odds against winning? All right, so here we have that is equal to not the event occurring. There's 20 out of 38 possibilities that the event will not occur. There's 18 reds and there's two greens. A total of 20 divided by a total of 38 possibilities divided by 18 over 38. So this would be 20 over 18, which is 10 over 9, which is, hmm, how about 1.1, round it off. It's actually 1.111, I think it goes down forever. All right. So the, problem, the odds in favor of winning, 0.9. The odds against winning, 1.1. And the way you want to interpret that if it's greater than 1, it's more likely to occur. You have more than a 50-50 chance of that happening, more likely. Likely. So greater than 50% chance if the number is greater than 1. And if the number is less than 1, it's less likely to occur than the other option. And so there's less than 50% chance of winning. And that's the best way to interpret odds in favor of and odds against. So if the odds against are more than one, you're more likely to lose. If the odds in favor of are more than one, you're likely to win or more likely to win than you are to lose. And that's how we interpret your odds at the roulette wheel. And that's how we do that.